Now, look at the turning operation. The workpiece is rotating. Single point cutting tool comes in contact with the workpiece. And as the single point cutting tool is being fed, there will be some chip removal. The diameter of the workpiece will reduce along its length. Students, if you observe closely, what do you see? Out of 0, 1 and 0, 2, mainly, primarily, majorly, which one is cutting the workpiece? 0, 1 or 0, 2? Mainly, you can observe, this is the 0, 1 cutting edge, that is the side cutting edge, which is actually, mainly, majorly, primarily, cutting the workpiece. And that is the reason why, my dear, this 0, 1, that is the side cutting edge, is also named as major cutting edge, is also named as principal cutting edge, is also called as primary cutting edge. Got the point? Now, you listen carefully. Here, as machining starts, you know that chips will form, yes? And the chips will come out in this direction and will flow onto a surface of the tool which is there between these points 0, 1, there it was 2 and 4. So, this surface upon which the chip is flowing, that surface is here, this surface is what we call as rake face of the tool or simply face of the tool. This is what we call as rake face of the tool or simply face of the tool. Either you say it as rake face of the tool or say it as face of the tool. Good, no problem. Now, my dear, here there are two more surfaces as you can see. One surface is there, one surface is here. One surface is below the 0, 1 cutting edge. One surface is below the 0, 1 cutting edge. That surface, my dear, let me let us shade it. This green color surface is below the 0, 1 that is side cutting edge. And then you have the another surface. Let me just choose some, you know, another color. Another color. Uh, 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 uh. Let us say this one. Okay. Yes. Fine. So, if you observe this here as well, there is one surface below the 0, 2 cutting edge. Yes. So, these two surfaces, both these surfaces are termed as plank surfaces. The surface which is just below 0, 1 cutting edge, that is side cutting edge, that is also one flank surface. The surface which is below 0, 2 cutting edge, that is end cutting edge, this is also called flank surface. But out of the green color flank and out of this yellow color flank, you see, which one is at the side? The one which is below the side cutting edge, yes. So that is why this is what we term as side flank and this flank which is just below the end cutting edge is what we term as end flank. 